Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the first day of a new vlog series that I'm starting. If you are new to me or you don't follow me on Instagram, I was recently fired from my job. I absolutely love my coworkers, or I guess my old coworkers, love them to this day. I still talk to them every day, but the company itself, the business itself, horrible and they could tell that i after over two years was not loving the company anymore they didn't like that so they fired me i was actually fine with that because it was just a very very toxic environment again not for my co-workers but because of how bad management was so very toxic it was causing me a lot of negative thoughts negative feelings i was just like being negative even like when i came home from work or the days i was off work i was still very negative and just kind of like mean because that's how my job was making me feel and i know that your job isn't your whole life but when you spend majority of your time there it kind of is the majority of your life you know what i mean it was just making me very very negative it was just bad so i was gonna quit i was just holding on because i love my coworkers. but then they beat me to the punch and they fired me it was the first time i've ever been fired in my life but it was such a good feeling in a way because I felt like detached from the place I was happy when they fired me is what I'm trying to say I was like yay but that kind of brings me to this new vlog series that I'm starting this vlog series is just going to be me showing you guys my life as a 30 year old woman without a job I'm married I have a house but I don't have a career I don't know exactly what I'm doing with my life at 30 years old and I feel like that's okay I feel like society has always made us feel Feel. like we have to have everything figured out by damn near late 20s and that's just not the reality situation i know so many other people my age that don't know what they're doing they're not happy in their careers they're starting over they're starting from scratch whatever the case may be i know i'm not the only one and so i just want to kind of show what life is like as a 30 year old who doesn't have all their shit together and doesn't know exactly what they're doing and just show maybe other people that are my age that it's okay and showing younger people People who feel that pressure that they have to have it figured out like they you know they have two more years to have it figured out and their whole life like needs to be figured out by this age like that's not the reality of life that is not how life goes if that's how life went for you or is going for you amazing i'm literally so happy for you but that's most the time not the case i think my husband's home hi mommy you want some mini donut heck yeah i do this is my husband big victor I just call him Vic. <laughs> what up? But you'll be seeing more of him through this vlog series as well. Is she? Ma'am. And she, his she. sister, Victoria, lives with us too. She's not home right now. She's at work. But um, you'll be seeing more of her and just like our life. It's going to be great. But the new series is going to be called 30 Unemployed and Thriving. Because you can definitely be 30 unemployed and still be thriving. Sometimes that's just where the cookie crumbles. But right now... Today, I already obviously kind of got ready for the day. I'm still in pajamas. This is the first time I'm eating today these donuts down the street from us. We live in Dallas, by the way, if you're new. But yeah, today's agenda. Like I said, I already got ready for the day because I need to take photos for Instagram. Also, I really wanted to try this new foundation that I have on. It's the NARS Soft Matte one the best foundation i think i've ever put on my face before then we're also going to go to home goods today we're going to go to living spaces we're going to go to west elm um i want to look at some couches we're not going to buy a couch today but i want to look at some and then obviously we got to go to home goods because it's home goods but if you're new to the channel we recently got our cabinets painted they used to be all gray but we got them black and white and because they're black and white now and pretty much everything else in our house is black and white. I wanted to eventually get a new couch, even though this is a brand new couch that we just bought one year ago. But we had got the gray couch to go with the gray cabinets. Now that the cabinets aren't gray, I kind of want a couch like that color, like an ivory cream color instead. But I don't know, because obviously like your girl lost her job, so. <laughs> I don't know if we could like go buy a whole new couch right now, but I definitely want to go look at them just to see what's out there. It's a baby girl. Hi, baby girl. This is Luna, our baby bangle. She is what, like 
nine months now maybe she's not even one yet little baby girl okay but anyways yeah let me go change we're gonna take some photos i probably won't film that so i can just get it out of the way really quick oh there it is no i didn't cut deep enough oh shit maybe it's not ready this is hard I don't know the proper ripeness of a coconut. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> to be continued. Okay, well, Vic is actually gonna take Luna for a walk. So <laughs> if you're thinking about getting a cat and you want a chill cat, do not get a bangle. She is like the dog of cats. So she goes for a walk every single day. She's very energetic. She's not your chill sleep all day kind of cat. But like, look at her. She literally spots something outside. And her tail, oh, she heard the harness. Look at her. When she hears her harness, she sits there and she lets us put the harness on. Luna, you never do this. You don't go outside? I think it's because we let her outside without yeah, the harness. Yeah, I was just about okay. to say. Come here. Mm. Good girl. Come here. Good girl. I promise y'all, she usually just sits there and lets us put it on. But today she ran out without it and now she thinks she doesn't have to wear it. Yes, you do. You want to go outside? Yeah. <laughs> she loves to go on walks. Yes, that's a good girl. Sometimes she climbs this tree. She's probably worse with people. She's okay with dogs and cars, but if someone like is getting out of their car, she dips out. <laughs> now my hair is all crazy. Okay, she gotta grab my phone. I'm gonna take some photos. <sighs> it's such a nice day outside. It's just like, it's warm. Like the sun is warm, but then the wind is freezing. So it's really weird. It looks like it's really hot outside, but it's not. Okay, before we go, I've said this like 10 times that next time you see us, we're gonna be at the stores. But real quick before we go, I'm gonna throw a load of laundry in. It's just our sheets and our towels. And I wanted to share with you guys these laundry detergent pods by Drops. They were nice enough to send these to me. And basically they're better than your normal laundry pods because they're friendly to the earth. You're protecting the planet from plastic waste and toxic pollution. Here you go, babies. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> And they are animal cruelty free. So this is how they came. We have the clean scent, I think it is. Let me see. Yeah, this one's just the clean scent and it comes with 32 pods. And this line particularly they sent us because this is for like athletic clothing and if like your clothes just needs like a stronger detergent because we work out a lot. So obviously our clothes are like sweaty and gross. So we opted for these ones because of our lifestyle, but ma'am <laughs> i still use it for all of our laundry anyway so i'm gonna put this in but yeah i do also have a discount code with drops i can't think of what it is right now but i'll have it somewhere up here and in the description box so if you're interested in getting some eco-friendly and toxin safe for like children and sensitive skin and things like that definitely try out drops Ta -da! You guys, I have literally never been to a living spaces before, but this place, I don't know if you can see, is literally incredible. It just keeps going. It's freaking massive. They have everything you could literally ever dream of here. What we're looking for, particularly in here, is couches. Cause like I said, we might replace our couch, but then also we need a bedroom rug. And when we came in, the lady kind of gave us the rundown of the store and she told us that you can pretty much get anything customized in here. Like there's a whole fabric section. So if you find a couch you like, but you want to change the fabric completely, you can do that. And it doesn't change the price of the couch. How cool is that? You can even like say, I like this couch, but we want it in a different design. They can do that. Like they can do everything here. Why have I never been here before? This whole section, this whole wooden section, I need all of it.
can give you guys an OOTD. I'm wearing this shirt from Princess Polly, Lululemon leggings, my, um, what are these? My Reeboks, my Target backpack that I always have, literally always. Mask from Amazon. This is the couch that I was looking for this whole time. We're at West Elm and I have a photo of the couch and this was the couch I was looking for. I wanted to see it in person because I've only seen it online. It's so cute and it has the wood at the bottom. This is the one. We're not gonna buy it today, but this was the one. <laughs> we're at Home Goods now and I think we're gonna get Luna this. How cute is that? I think we're gonna get it. She doesn't need it, but I think we're gonna get it. <laughs> they also have it in white. And then they have this one, but I think we like the black one better. Can we rake something? No. Oh. Okay, we just left Home Goods. I probably got like literally two things at each place, so I feel like we were really good and really self-controlled today. Um, so I'll probably just maybe pick up some food and then head home and I'll show you guys what we got. Okay, we're back home. We ate some lunch and I wanted to show you guys really quickly what we got. We didn't get anything at West Elm, but I really just wanted to see that couch that you guys saw. So we saw that. And then at Home Goods, we got this cat bed for Luna. So far, she's just kind of scared of it. So we'll have to see if she actually gets in it. And then Home Goods. Home Goods, we also got this guy, which I thought was cool. I got this guy, which is like really good quality and it was only $10 from Home Goods. And then from Living Spaces, we got this random hand piece sign. And then I got two more vases. This is the first thing I picked up. It's just speaking to me. I love her. And then I saw this one too on like a table. Like this was being used to stage an area and I just, took it off the table. <laughs> but I thought these were both really, really cute. So I got these and that's all we got. So I was really tame today. So for the rest of the day, I'm probably just gonna hang out. Oh, and me and Tori, Tori say hello. Um, me and Tori are watching this show on Netflix called, what was the show called? Beauty and the Baker. She already watched it, but we started watching it last night and we watched almost the whole thing. So we have like three more episodes left. So we're gonna watch that and probably just chill. I don't see the light of day. Looking up to higher your crown. Thinking that'll be your sweet escape. These days got a schedule to romance. They say they love is a slow dance. A short bike ride to the crib, using no hands. Oh shit, it feel like I'm floating. But I'm falling with both eyes closed when I let the world spin. Testing the water, she got my nurse tense. Back when I ain't even have a purpose. I was so eager to learn some things. Anxiety bring out the worst to me. Society paint me as enemy. My niggas making it by that remedy. I'm more occasional, don't do it regularly. Back under my eyes, weighing down heavily. Mama been worried, the devil allegedly deep in the plan. Subconsciously wanted it since I was 10. I thought I was sharp on my scroll and my pen think it did. So mama found she did alleged. She told me that's not who I am. But nowadays I put on for the fam, see you when I can. I'm surrounded by my feelings, I'm stuck on a fabric. Well, I bet I perish with 140 acres. She wants the horse and the carriage, a portion and portion of garbage. I talk to the mirror, I know that life's not the fairest. I lost my can, I can't pay off the bills with the blessing. I'm sure I relate to the red page. It's feeling like money is everything. Money is everything. It's everything I need. Till I lay my eyes on you. What this is, yeah, but it feel like it's real, baby. I don't wanna pretend, no. I just wanna come clear, wanna see you again. Hmm. Hey, my baby. 
So it's way later now. It is about two o'clock. I'm just eating this pasta. It's really just, it's just angel hair noodles and I put some olive oil on it and some salt and pepper and I'm drinking my chlorophyll water. I did see this on TikTok and I've seen both sides of the argument that it does something or it doesn't do anything. I've been drinking it now for, I think today's the seventh day and I'm just seeing what it does. Cause actually Vic and his sister grew up eating very, very healthy. Like their mom did not have snacks in the house. She didn't have sugary cereal in the house, no chips, no junk food. And they actually grew up drinking this. Um, so when the TikTok thing happened, we we already had the chlorophyll because Tori still drinks it every day. So I didn't have to go buy it. We already had it. I just wasn't drinking it. So I decided to see if it did anything. And like I said, it's only been seven days. As far as like people say, it's like clearing your skin and stuff. I don't know yet because when I started drinking that, I was also on my period. So I was already having like skin problems because of that. So I'm trying to see if this just helps in general over time. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I just recently got off of birth control completely. I'm trying to just get off of it because it's really just screwing up my hormones really really bad So maybe by drinking this it'll help kind of cleanse everything out of my body I don't know the only thing I've noticed is that it does give me energy. So I really like that so far so good I don't think it's doing anything bad. So why not? But yeah, it's later as you guys saw we went to the gym when I got home I ate something showered. I'm not wearing makeup because I'm actually about to go get a laser treatment done at Lemon Avenue. You guys know I get my fillers and everything done at Lemon Avenue in Dallas, but Taylor is the esthetician and laser specialist that I go to there. And today we're gonna do this laser treatment to help with dark marks because I have so many acne scars. I'm just ready to get my skin right. I'm excited to get this laser treatment done. Um, and then after that, I pretty much have nothing to do the rest of the day so I can just chill and like be ugly in my house. Also, I don't think I'm gonna talk about this in this vlog, but I do wanna talk about it to clear anything up or answer any questions anyone might have because this series is, you know, 30 unemployed and thriving. And I feel like people are gonna have questions on how I'm able to not have a job and I'm not freaking out. And I there's reasons for that. Um, I'll ask you guys on Instagram too. And maybe I'll do like a quick short Q and A regarding that in the next vlog, just because this series is kind of showing you guys my life in the position that I'm in and so I'm sure you guys might have questions about the position that I'm in and how it all works but I'm just gonna finish my food and my drink I need to leave the house in like 20 minutes to head to my appointment so yeah I will see you guys there Okay, just got here. The traffic was horrible because it was a really bad accident, but we made it. We're still on time. I have like three minutes to spare, so let's head on in. Y'all, I'm an idiot. I just realized that I left my mask in my car. Okay, I have my mask on now. <laughs> Let's try this again. So I look crazy right now, but I have numbing cream all over my entire face. And then he just put a little bit of plastic up on my forehead so that the numbing cream doesn't heat up because your head gets hot and like go down into my eye because that would be horrible. We are going to leave this on for 20 minutes and then we're going to do the laser. All right, I'm going to put these little eye shields over your eyes. <laughs> And then turn to your left. Like I said, I'm also gonna blow a little cold air just to keep you comfortable. Sit right here, okay? How's that? It's not bad at all.
Okay, it's a little bit later. I'm home now. I ate a little bit of food because I was starving. I think that's better. So the laser went really, really well. My face just feels like a sunburn and it's still numb. Like my lips are numb and everything. So it feels like I got filler because when your lips are numb, like they feel huge. <laughs> but the laser didn't hurt at all. And it was super quick as you guys saw. Um, and then I just have to use this little skincare kit for the next few days. I'm not supposed to work out for the next few days, but it is gonna go through its little like healing phase. My face is gonna get a little texture over the next few days and then it'll get smooth. But yeah, I will post on my Instagram the before and afters once everything's all healed and everything so you guys can see what difference it made in my skin and in my hyperpigmentation. So I'm really excited about it. But yeah, for the rest of the day, I'm just chilling. I think we're gonna get Chick-fil-A for dinner. So I'm excited about that. And I'm just gonna be editing the rest of the day. So thank you guys so much for watching the first episode of my 30 Unemployed and Thriving vlog series. The vlogs are gonna keep coming every week, maybe twice a week. Um, I'm not really sure how the schedule's gonna go yet. I'm just gonna kinda go with the flow and see. But I appreciate you guys watching. I'm so excited to share my life with you guys and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.